Can I punch him? Hey a people, hope you are having a nice time. Your boy Al is here with Spice and Wolf episode 19 review so let's dive into it. At first we see Mark and Lant discuss Lawrence's situation. Mark hopes Diana will assist Lawrence, warning that things could go poorly otherwise. Lant overhears a conversation about rising pyrite prices and shares the news with Mark. Mark explains what Amani must do to secure the funds to pay off Hollow's debt. Meanwhile, Lawrence anxiously waits for Diana, fearing she might have made a deal with Amadi. Lant and Mark consider what Lawrence stands to gain or lose if Amadi succeeds. Lawrence becomes increasingly nervous, and Lant approaches him, mentioning someone's interest in buying wheat with pyrite. This is the first time that I felt such levels of tension and thrill from this anime, and I thoroughly enjoyed every moment of it. Also this is basically how stock exchanges work in real life, and I really love the detailed portrayal. Then we see Lant inform Lawrence that the material is worth 250 coins, so Lawrence provides Lant with the goods. As Lant heads to a specific location, he recalls Mark's words. Meanwhile, Lawrence, feeling panicked, sells some pyrite to a gentleman before leaving the stall, wishing he had Diana's 400 coins worth of pyrite to crash the market price. Lant returns and hands Lawrence the 250 coins worth of material. Lawrence decides to wait for Diana's representative. However, another buyer shows up, complicating his plan. When Diana's representative arrives, she informs Lawrence that Diana can't fulfill her promise. Lawrence asks Lant to tell Mark that the plan failed, but Lant encourages him not to give up. I don't understand why kids are getting infatuated by Hollow, first Amadi, and now Lant too? Like bruh, Hollow ain't even a Shotokan. Also it was nice to see Lant give Lawrence the wake-up call that he desperately needed. Moving on we see Lawrence understands and asks Lant to spread the wheat rumor around town. Lawrence then sells his pyrite, and Hollow follows suit moments later. As a result, everyone begins selling their pyrite, leaving Amadi defeated. Later, Lawrence assures the audience that Amadi didn't suffer a significant financial loss. He hands Amadi some items, and a man advises Amadi not to interfere with another man's woman. Afterwards, Halo tells Lawrence she wished to defeat Amadi in a more satisfying way. Lawrence apologizes for various things, including his fears that Halo might side with Amadi. He learns that Halo bought the pyrite from Diana after briefly leaving the event. Lawrence also realizes that Hollow signed the marriage contract to motivate him to act. Lawrence explaining what he was thinking about Hollow pissed me so much that I still want to sucker punch him in the right place. Also Hollow being the one who made the deal with Diana was an unexpected but great twist. Next we see Hollow and Lawrence have a brief argument after which Lawrence expresses his desire to continue traveling with her. He then asks how she convinced Diana to sell her the pyrite. Halo explains that she asked Diana to create a story suggesting that Yuitsu might still exist, but Diana refused. Halo reveals she hid in Diana's home and eavesdropped on Lawrence's discussion with Diana, as Diana wanted to test Lawrence's determination. Halo mentions that she knows Lawrence asked Diana if humans and pagan gods can become a couple and tells Lawrence she wouldn't mind if they did, but she quickly retracts the statement. I was expecting a really heartwarming and impactful confession from Lawrence, but it turned out to be very tame, and kinda unsatisfying I guess. I mean Lawrence didn't even say I love you. Many people might find it mature, but I didn't quite like it. At the end we see Hollow inform Lawrence that Diana isn't human but a bird that can transform into a human. She explains that Diana fell in love with a traveling monk, but the monk became suspicious of her slow aging, leading to their separation. Hollow then tells Lawrence she wants to return to Yoitsu. Together, Hollow and Lawrence attend Kumerson's festival. So Diana isn't normal just like I thought, but her story is truly heartbreaking. I mean what could be worse than your loved one turning against you because of some nonsensical belief? I don't think Diana did anything wrong, even though I think a relationship shouldn't start with a lie. Nevertheless, I can't say this was a satisfying episode, because I was hoping for a way more powerful confession moment. Anyways thanks for watching everyone.
If you like my video then check out some of my other videos. Also don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel or leave a comment if you want to say something. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram or check out my Facebook page. Links are given in the description. Until then see ya.